What are your plans for this Friday night? Hello my lovely babies, welcome back. Today's video is a one month update on the V Park V Box 30. I absolutely love this little mini mod. Let me tell you what. It's so little. It goes to 30 watts and it does sub ohm. It's replaced my love actually for my little E-Leaf iStick mini only because it doesn't sub ohm and that thing only goes to 10 watts. But I wasn't able to use this for a full month. I mean, I probably could have, but I felt like the coil was kind of burning out a little bit and the flavor was kind of going with it. So that's why it became a decoration on my vape shelf for a while because it didn't come with a second coil. And so in order to replace the coil, I'd have to order it. And by the time I ordered it and it got here, it would have been well past the time that this was supposed to get a one month update. This was actually supposed to get a one month update last week, but I completely forgot about it, like I said, because I had put it on the shelf because it no longer tasted the same and I don't really want to like vape I mean it's all right I can just tell by the flavor that it's gonna start to go and I don't really want to vape it to that point because it's gross but other than the fact that the coil didn't last me a long time and that's probably because I used it so much so I did get full use out of the coil I feel like but definitely would need to switch this coil out before a month of hard use the paint and everything on it surprisingly stayed really well I did carry this around with me in my purse for the time that I was using it I really love this little max tank it works phenomenally and it's so little and the whole thing is so little but so powerful I like the dial spinning that's new and unique versus like the regulatory buttons and then you never have to worry about like auto firing or anything while it's in your pocket in your purse because it has that on off switch so those are things that I really love about it like I said I didn't experience any leaking like surprisingly no leaking out of this little guy like I expected some leakage out of the airflow base because most atomizers do that like unless they have airflow that's above the base now but this thing has pretty beefy little o-rings in here and I feel like that is why it doesn't leak like it's got some pretty thick o-rings and I felt like that is probably what contributed to not leaking so just for this video I'll go ahead and vape it for you guys in this video but like I said the flavor is kind of going with this coil I mean it still does produce clouds but yeah I can taste it in the flavor it's, it's definitely needs a replacement coil already. And usually when I'm doing something for a one month update, unless I vape on it hard and I go hard and I go ham on it and I vape it a lot, like the Kanger Tech Knee Box or this one, I usually can make a coil last to a one month update because I've got a bunch of different things in my vape rotation. But I kind of just went ham on this and I loved it and I used it majorly when out and about. And usually I have like my Ego One Mini, a Mig Sig, and then I added this to my purse collection for out and about vaping. But because it was new and I just like was so obsessed with it being little and being so powerful I didn't actually use my other out and about vapes while using this so yeah I did get a lot of use out of this yeah I can tell it needs a new coil but you can still see that it's still performing uh, vapor cloud wise but the screen is pretty limited too which is not a bad thing I mean it's personal opinion personal preference on whether you want a screen to display everything this does display puff counter it displays obviously the wattage and the voltage it, along with the puff counter it also displays how long you take a drag for which is sometimes people really like that I would have liked the option to see the resistance of the atomizer just because that's something that I'm really used to being able to see and I would like to see that on this device and then also I'd like to see this device have the charge port on the side instead of the bottom it's under this bottom flap which the flap is a great idea to keep like dust particles out of there but I'd like to see it on the side that way that I could just leave the mod like this instead of having to tip it upside down or in this case I didn't want to have the tank you know sideways so I'd have to remove the tank then plug it in blah 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 so it's like definitely if it was on the side that would make a huge difference okay I can't vape it anymore for flavor's sake because it just tastes like burnt cereal because I have cereal in here and the coil is fading fast so definitely gets a thumbs up for my one month review like I said there are a few things that I would like to see differently on it but as far as like it does the little max tank doesn't leak it has great power it's so little the battery life is like I said it's an on-the-go mod for me so it's not something I don't think you could actually sit and vape for a whole entire day and that be your sole mod for the whole entire day unless you don't mind charging it 
but all in all it's a great little mod and I would recommend it. It comes in a bunch of different colors and it's just so cute and compact and I love to take it out about with me because it's just like it's a little vaping machine like it's so little and so powerful and I love it and I did order more coils for it because I do want to continue to use it but like I said the coils wouldn't have come in time for the review and the review is already late so <laughs> I mean I did make I wanted to see if I could get the coils before the review that's why it's a little late because I was waiting but obviously the coils aren't here on time so that is why I shelved this for now because it is not pleasant to vape any coil when it's burnt out but that's beside the point <laughs> that's just because I heavy vaped this thing like I got great use out of it and I'm very impressed and I love it and it's so cute like I said it's replaced my love for my e-leaf eye stick mini and if you ever saw that video you'd know that I freaking love that thing now if they could only make like a hot pink or a purple color in this I would die they do have a Tiffany blue and a white color that are really really nice and this red's not too bad I'm just like that's not my favorite color but <laughs> that's just personal preference again so that's it for today's video just a quick one month update for you guys I hope you enjoyed if you did give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more reviews check the description box below this video for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids mods etc you can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram or Twitter or Facebook I also have a second YouTube channel where I like to upload completely random and videos that aren't vaping related. If you want to see more of me, you can check out that channel. All those links will be below. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining Casa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching. If you're wondering, I did not do that vape kiss with the with the V Park. I did it with my freaking kanger tech because Nobody wants to vape burntness, right? And then we'll go, look, shout out to Grim Green.